hay todavía esperanza en este mundo. El altruismo y las personas generosas existen. Científicos de la Universidad Hebrea de Jerusalén publicaron recientemente una investigación en la que plantean que existe una relación entre la generosidad y la genética. Según ellos, las personas con gran inclinación a ayudar a los demás presentan un determinado gen que influiría en tal conducta. Visitamos al equipo de investigación en su laboratorio en el Hospital Psiquiátrico Herzog y dialogamos con ellos sobre este proyecto, la metodología utilizada y sus resultados. We're interested in how genes affect people's behavior, but not necessarily uh, abnormal behavior, but normal behavior. And one of the one of the areas uh, that we became interested in uh, was generosity or altruism. Uh, and altruism itself is an interesting problem. Uh, humans, I think uh, most people would agree, uh, on the whole, we're an altruistic species. So we're willing to help uh, conspecifics, other members of our species, uh, which is Uh, somewhat unusual in the animal world, although there are there are other animals uh, that do that kind of behavior. Para esta investigación, 203 personas participaron de un juego por internet en el que se midió su nivel de altruismo. Los resultados del juego fueron cruzados con los datos genéticos de quienes integraron la muestra. And in that game, what it's very simple. We I give you a certain amount of money, say 50 shekels. And you can either keep all that money or you can give some of the money away and it'll go to some other, say, student at the university. But you don't know anything about the student. You don't know if he needs the money, he doesn't need the money, you're never going to meet him. So the, if you tell people this game, most people just assume that everybody's going to keep all the money. Cause, and that's what classical economics or, in some sense, classical evolutionary theory predict. And kind of maximizing your profit. There's no reason to give anything away because you don't gain anything by that. It turns out that that's, that's not the case. That in fact, not only in Israel, but in America and Europe and other countries where they've played that game, uh, people give a certain amount away, and only maybe 20% of the people keep all the money for themselves. In the study that we did, we actually had a uh, a priori hypothesis. We, we had a, a notion which gene we should look at. So we didn't just Uh, pick randomly one of the 30,000 genes. As I said, we picked a gene which we thought might be related to this kind of generosity. And there are techniques today we could see in our laboratory that you can take DNA. We actually, the students uh, do a mouthwash. They uh, take some uh, mouthwash and roll it around in their mouths. They spit it out. And from that mouthwash, we extract DNA. And then we can take a specific area of the DNA where we know that gene is and we can amplify it, we can generate a lot more DNA of that specific gene. And we can measure, we have a machine that essentially measures the size of the DNA fragment that we've made. So we can group people uh, on how long that particular area of the DNA is. The, we were fortunate that it was really a, a uh, multidisciplinary effort and we had a lot of uh, good help. We had Professor Epstein who, uh, who, who led the, uh, the genetic element. Uh, uh, Professor Gary Bornstein, who uh, came from, from the behavioral economic perspective, and, uh, and Ariel Knafo, Dr. Ariel Knafo, who, who has the psychology and, and the, the, the twin studies. Uh, on top of that, we had a lot of people help with the recruiting of the game. Uh, they did the genotyping, uh, the DNA extraction. Um, so it, there was really, uh, and, and you could see in the, in the article itself, we have something like 12 or 13 authors. Uh, in addition to that, uh, There was a group that, uh, um, from, uh, led by Professor Chaim Bellmaker uh, and uh, Galila Gam, that provided uh, 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 brain pieces that we were able to look at to uh, look at the actual amount of uh, mRNA uh, that is produced, uh, that, that's expressed in, uh, these in, in brain regions for the same gene. So it was really a, a multidisciplinary effort, and we were very fortunate in that perspective. On the game side, we had 203 participants. Uh, the, the important thing in a, in a genetic experiment is to get, a, to get a high enough number of subjects, especially with, with the gene that we picked, because uh, there's a lot of different alleles, there's a lot of different uh, variations for this specific gene. So we wanted to make sure that the subject size was large enough that we can detect uh, statistically uh, differences in, in behavior. La pregunta que se plantea de inmediato es qué determina la conducta humana, la genética o el ambiente en el que la persona se cría. Los investigadores explican cuál es el enfoque con el que trabajan. We know that the genes uh, only explain part 
of the reason we're altruistic or generous. So although we're, we're as a species, uh, to some extent, we're hardwired to be generous, the genes only explain 50% of the reason, the differences between people. And the other 50% comes from environment. So that might be uh, the society, education, your parents, or your friends as you grow up. This is not the gene for altruistic behavior. I, th I think that would be a misnomer. We found a gene uh, that, that uh, w when we get to things like uh, cooperative behavior and, and altruism, is made up of, 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 it's a very complex trait. Uh, and, and in that respect, it's important to, to identify that there are many genes that, that contribute to this behavior, as well as many uh, environmental aspects as well. So this is a, a, a head start I think going in the right direction, but it's not by no means the gene for altruism. El profesor Epstein y su equipo están trabajando en otras investigaciones, por ejemplo, sobre la conexión entre genética y anorexia, lo que permitiría conocer más sobre las causas de esta enfermedad. Altruismo, egoísmo, conductas del ser humano que plantean muchos más misterios todavía por develar.